to make the quilt as you go stocking, you need the stocking pattern, batting, fabric strips, fabric for the cuff, fabric for the lining, ribbon if you want to do a holder, scissors, rotary cutter, and quilt basting spray, and a ruler. The first thing you want to do is cut three pieces of batting that are approximately the size of your stocking. And then you're going to cut three pieces of fabric that are the same size as the batting. Two of these will be for the lining and one will be for the back of the stocking. Next, grab the cuff pattern piece, fold your cuff fabric in half, and then place the pattern on the fold and you will cut two cuffs. Next, you'll want to cover your work surface with an old towel or paper. Lay a piece of the batting on your towel, grab your quilt basting spray, and spray generously. Adhere a piece of the lining fabric to the batting and smooth out all the wrinkles. Lay out a second piece of the lining fabric right side down Spray with the quilt basting spray and attach another piece of batting. Flip the fabric over and attach a second piece of the lining. You'll have a piece of batting with fabric on one side and batting on the other and another piece that has fabric on both sides. Next, use your fabric marking pen and trace a copy of the pattern directly onto the batting, transferring all pattern markings. Take a moment and decide how you want your fabric strips to be arranged on the stocking pattern. Once you have your fabric layout decided, it's time to start quilting the strips directly onto the batting. Line the first strip up along the diagonal line that you traced from the pattern, then grab the second strip, place it face down on top of the first strip. You will sew the two strips together directly onto the batting using a quarter inch seam allowance. Once sewn, Open the fabric strips and finger press the strips flat. Grab a third strip and line it up with one of the previous sewn strips. And you'll repeat this process sewing a quarter inch seam allowance. Open the strips, finger press, and keep repeating this process until all your strips are sewn onto the batting. After you get a few strips sewn on, you may want to trim the excess fabric to make it easier to keep sewing. Keep sewing on strips until the stocking outline is completely covered. Once all the strips are sewn on, you'll want to take the batting to the ironing board and press the strips flat. The next step is to grab the stocking pattern and cut the stocking shape out from your quilted fabric. Next, grab the second batting piece and use the stocking pattern to trace out and cut a second stocking. Grab your ruler and a marking pen. Draw a line two inches apart diagonally along the stocking, as shown. Take the stocking piece to your sewing machine and sew a straight stitch along the drawn lines. Next, grab the two cuff pieces, line them up right sides together, and sew a stitch using a quarter inch seam allowance along each side. Flip the cuff right side out, and then fold in half. Press the seams flat with your iron. Next, grab the two stocking pattern pieces, line them up right sides together, and sew along the edges with a quarter inch seam allowance, leaving the top open. Flip the stocking right side out and trim off any loose threads. Grab the stocking cuff and tuck it inside the stocking, aligning the raw edges and side seams. Adding pins if needed. Grab the piece of ribbon or fabric that you'll be using as the stocking hanger and tuck it inside the stocking in between the cuff and the stocking. 
leaving the tails out. Pin in place. Take your stocking to the sewing machine and sew all the way around the top edge using a quarter inch seam allowance. Flip the cuff over and pull up the stocking hanger and that's it, you're done. How cute is this stocking?